Alright, so fair warning, I haven't made jeans in a while. Um, I'm gonna start with the jean outlines now. I'm gonna be making separate layers for every single part of the jean outlines, just so I can erase when necessary. Um, I'm starting with the waistband now. Oh, wrong there. Um, I'm starting with the waistband now. I'm gonna bring it down three pixels and then just kind of curve it a bit. Um, and then I'm going to copy, paste it down, so that way you have, like, a big enough waistband so you can add a belt if you'd like. Um, then I'm just going to copy and paste it to every single side. That way it's even throughout. It's very even it. Now I'm going to make another layer, um, this layer is going to be my, um, like, I don't know how to explain it, um, I forgot the word, like the little zipper part, and like all the parts that are going to be in the middle of the pair of jeans, so like the lining sort of, um, so there's like a distinct shape to it and it's kind of hard to get the shape right the first time. So I'm gonna take a few tries to get this probably. Um, like I said, I haven't made jeans in a while, so I apologize for being awful at it. Um, uh, is this good enough? Um, now I'm just bringing this down for like the seam. Um, and I'm gonna add another thing. This is. Oh, right, I'm into that. Um, so like, the seam on me is like two things, or how do I better explain that? Um, now I'm just gonna do the back really quick. I kinda wanna do it like this, but I'm not sure how it'll turn out, so I might just change that up a bit. Um, to come in like this. Oh, that's so... I don't know, I'm just gonna do it the normal way. Um, so I'm making like the back of the pants currently, so I'm just gonna like have a seam going down the middle and then a seam curving. I don't know how to better explain that. Um, like that. Um, um, once again, I'm adding two lines because seam and yes. Um, now I'm just going to do straight because the sides really don't matter that much. Kill me for saying it, but all of my sides on like any design are like really undetailed. Alright, um... Now, I'm probably going to have to make the pockets. I really hate pockets. You should never make pockets. Pockets are all So right now, these outlines don't really look like very much, but eventually, once we fill in everything, which will be in another video, it should look a lot better. Um, pockets, yes, pockets are important. Well, I'm just going to make these things better. Pockets, let me just delete this extra layer. Um, so, pockets are kind of hard to do too. So, you have to get the shape just right, or else it's going to look like something totally different. Um, I'll make that shape. That's the line. And then, no. Just be like far down. Whatever. I'll just settle for it. I like this little in pocket thing because I don't know if you can notice but jeans have them. I'm not honestly sure what they're for. I think they used to hold watches or something. But I heard like stopwatches. 
And I'm just gonna copy and paste this to the other side after I finish bringing it over. Um, now I'm gonna do the back pockets, which are gonna have a very interesting shape. Um, this might take me a minute to get right, sorry. I'm just gonna pop and this down, you know what? Sorry, um, my dog is in my room right now, so she's like growling because there's a storm and she doesn't like storms. Um, now pockets are kind of like, not circular, but like, not round, like curvy. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for, curvy. They're curvy shapes. And I'm just going to copy and paste this to the other side. Boom, we have the perfect pocket. Um, so, next thing we're probably gonna add are belt loops, which, if you don't know what belt loops are, um, okay. Anyways, so I'm gonna add the little belt loops. Um, they should go a bit above the waistband outline, just for whatever reason I say, um, I don't know if I like that, that looks like that's so good, but whatever, I'm just gonna copy and paste this to the sides where it needs to go, um, and then I'm gonna copy and paste it over. I will erase the excess that's underneath it currently, um, just give me a bit before I do that. So keep in mind whenever you're doing this that your thing should not like have anything under it because it's the material and material typically isn't completely see-through with just the outline showing. Unless that'd be a bit weird. Alright, now I'm gonna copy this all of this to the other side like I stated earlier. Um, give me a minute, sorry. Um, make sure that you always copy and paste at the exact, like, measurement, or else it's gonna, like, turn really blurry and fuzzy, and it's not gonna look as good. That's why I have different colors on my template. So that way I can see where I need to pull it. Just erasing the excess. And then I'm probably going to do the lining. Um, if you don't know what I mean by the lining, it's going to be like those little, like, the actual sewing. Sewing? Sewing. Thread? Thread. Um, so I'm gonna use like a little dot dot thingy. Um, just name this dot dot. Okay, so it's gonna be like this little thing. Like, so it's a line tool, and then you just click once on one of the style options, and then you get like dots. I'm just gonna line wherever I feel it needs it. me a minute. You don't obviously need to line everything like I'm lining it. I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything good. Um, just do it however you feel like it. Also, these are technically girl jeans, but if you would like to make male jeans, it's the same exact method, just further down on the template. Those are particular styles for boys and girls. Boys are further down, girls are higher up. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this to the other side and then do the back lining and then the waistband lining. So 
for the waistband, I'm just going to do the bottom little area, not the top, because well, that's how it's sewed in typically, uh, like, that just doesn't work right. Alright, now I'm just going to copy and paste it, of course. Give me a minute. So I'm like a little eraser thingy and then it like slowly goes away. I don't know why, but I like seeing how it looks like after. If somebody ever tells you to improve your line work, they're probably talking about you might have like hand drawn everything instead of using the line tool. And so it might look a little bit choppy. Um, that's why I tend to use the line tool. Not because I'm lazy. Well, I am that, but because it also makes it look smoother and just overall better. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this. By the way, if you've ever seen Malibu Designer, they are so incredible. Oh my gosh. Like, they always- I don't understand the talent that they have, but they have it. And like, I've never met a Malibu Designer that was bad at designing. Like, they're always like amazing at it. Okay, now I'm gonna go bang the way over the mobile designer to help me erase that. And I need to fill in those little spots that I erased earlier. Alright, now I, I'm gonna show you how to make the, um, a little like thingy at the bottom. Like a little flappy thingy. Um, Oh, it's called fold fold so like you know how at the bottom of some jeans it's like folded over i'm going to show you how to make that i'm not going to keep it on the outlines just because i don't feel like making folded jeans today um but i will show you how to do it in case you want to also i'm sorry if my mic is extremely bad i'm literally using a pair of earbuds so And I should be uploading the other video on how to like fill in and shade jeans after this and I'll put the results at the end or on the thumbnail. Alright, so this is the full part. Um, I'm just like create a little line to show you where you want the jeans to end. Normally you're going to want it a bit higher up, especially if you're going to add shoes. I'm just going to get low down for the purposes of this. Make sure your fold is thick enough because we like those thick boys. Um, and because folds typically aren't extremely, extremely small, then you're going to put the little, like, whatchamacallit, um, just because it should be still sewed. Sewed? Potted? Potted. 